falling for nobody else but you You caught my eye And I've got a feeling I'm falling Show me the ring and I'll jump right through I used to Quite early this morning, 4 a.m. from the boot, made it here all right. Just set up for a couple of shots, a couple of reflection shots, and now I'm waiting for that perfect wave shot to come over through the blowhole. I've got the sun in the background. thing about shooting this blowhole, it's quite a long blowhole, so I can hear when the waves are coming in so I don't have to sit there ready all the time with my finger on the shutter. I'm quite high now in my shot. I feel like a surfer waiting for sets, waiting for that right combination to come in. Show me the ring and I'll jump right through. Show me the ring and I'll jump right through. I'm going to get a better shot so I'm going to pack up now, head back to the bike. See if I can get something to eat. First sunrise is pretty good. Feels like I'm back in India with people wanting to take my photo. So this morning's ride in was pretty good. I got up early at four. Uh, almost fell asleep again, but Haley woke me up, which is good. Not too much traffic. There are a few dogs out. There's actually more rats than dogs. Really cool bridge. It has its own dedicated bike lane where scooters can go. Uh, I did have to back up 20 meters on the entrance though, because I was about to go on the car one. The whole trip took an hour and 20 minutes, which uh, I thought was pretty good. And my phone only used 20% battery, which was even better because I had it navigating all the way. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the bike, probably brush my teeth, and then try and find something to eat. I'm flying high, but I've got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else. I'll probably have to ride pretty far. I don't think I can afford to eat here. It's a bit expensive for me. So this is what I ended up with to hold the phone. Um, the mount that goes in the car. I sticky taped it on just to make sure it didn't move. And it was fine all day. One thing though is it does cover up the speedo. Yeah, it's no drama. It didn't take long, but I'm about to get caught in my first shower on the road trip. See that out there? I'm gonna get pretty wet, I reckon. Can't believe there was monkeys on the road. The view from up here is just awesome. So blue. Guy behind me that whole time. <laughs> uh, anyway, better prep for this storm. So it looks like the rain cloud might miss me, but it's still raining a little bit, so we'll see. bag's not going too bad either. It doesn't feel too heavy, which is good. And it's not really too much of a pain in the ass to have on the back of the scooter. So really happy with that. Just walking out to the end of that sort of rock wall, I guess you'd call it. Watch this. 
right, so I'm gonna take my time here, compose a shot that I'm really happy with, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just see how we go from there. Just dropped a GoPro. Thankfully, it landed on the corner and not the lens. Can't afford a new one. So that went pretty good. I had the polarizer on to try and reduce some of the glare on the rocks and a really fast shutter speed to try and freeze that motion. So hopefully those images came out good. Holy that was big. See if I can find some fresh water to rinse all this gear off. I'm flying high, but I got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. You caught my eye, and I've got a feeling I'm falling. Show me the ring, and I jump right through. So I just got to Pikachu guest house, got myself a dorm bed, there's a power point, I'm happy. I can start getting things dry now. Just washed all the camera gear, trying to dry it out now. So. I've got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. I'm flying high, but I'm show me the ring and I jump right through. Show me the ring and I 